your success story is not inspiring or motivating people? Is it even a success? It is okay to be slow as long as you're moving. As long as you're steady, that's what matters. Slow and steady. You're steady. That's what matters. There are people who are not even moving at all. They're just right there. So imagine you're in the position where things are just being slow or you are moving. You are moving. That's what matters. Because at the end of the day, the people that have moved faster will get there. They will get to their destination. But you know, the similarity is the fact that you both will get to your destination. They might be running to get to their destination. You might just be walking. But you know what we share in common. We both got to our destination. That's what matters. So it's okay to be slow as long as you're moving. As you can tell by the title on your screen, I will be sharing with you guys 20, well not 20, 10. <laughs> so I'll be sharing with you guys 10 things that I've learned in my 20s and without wasting any time, we are going to go straight right into the video. So number one is get to know yourself, okay? Get to know yourself, get to know the things you like, the things you don't like, you know, just get spend time with yourself, okay? Especially in your 20s, I feel like it's very important to get to know yourself. And also, we see how much time we invest in other people. So, and we also know that when we take the time to get to know people, when we create time for people, we get to know them better. So imagine you spending that much time on yourself, getting to know yourself. Imagine the things that you will get to learn about yourself. You know, so it's very important that in your 20s, even if you're not up to your 20s, say you are still like 17, 18, you know, going into your 20s, these are things you need to start learning to do. Learn to know yourself, know your strength, know your weakness, know um, the things that um, you want to get better at right? things you want to improve on you're able to know your interest you know and things that you want to um, learn new skills and all of that so it's very very important that you get to know yourself spend time knowing yourself okay so that is very important so that will be number one so number two is be confident okay don't be afraid to speak okay don't be afraid to uh, your opinion don't be afraid to stand your ground you know be confident in what you believe in in who you are your identity whatever you identify with be confident okay don't be um, intimidated by anybody if you want to read books about being confident get into it okay so it's very important that you learn to be confident okay um okay i need to stop saying that. Yeah, I need to stop saying it. I need to stop saying it. Learn to be confident, okay? <laughs> be confident. It's very important to be that person that when you talk, people listen. People want to learn from you. You know, be confident that you become a role model to people, that people are willing to listen, to learn from you, to share your ideas, you know, to... Um, seek advice from you you know be that girl be that guy okay that is so confident in what you know in what you believe in so it's very important that we build our confidence if you are at the stage in your life where you feel like you're still struggling with that it's not too late so even if you're over 20s okay if you've gone past your 20s and you're still in your 30s we have people still in their 40s struggling with confidence yes to me the way i see it is it's not too late and it's not too early to start building your confidence it's very important you know as we grow and as we you know move along in life we need that confidence in our lives you know you want to be that person that people respect because of how confident you 
um, you converse, how confident you you um, communicate with people, you engage. You know, it's very very important, especially like where we are right now, the society we are right now. People will want to show you up, but you have to be confident. Number three thing that I have learned is be selective of your friends. Be very selective. It's very important. I feel like I'm going to say it's very important. It's very important. Everything is very important. It's very important. Yes, every point that I'm going to make is very important. So this one is also very important. Be selective of your friends. Okay. It's okay when they see you as someone who is choosy. Or, oh, she's so picky when it comes to friendships. Yeah, I am. It works for me. You know, it makes me be in a place where I am not constantly fighting my emotion just in the name of friendships. No. You know, so as we grow older, we want to be picky. We want to be choosy. Maybe when you've not approached your 20s, you can have as many friends as you, as you want. But I would even advise, if you're yet to get to your 20, or you're approaching your 20s, say you're 19 or thereabout, or you're still in your 20s and you're still struggling with friendship, be picky. It's not too early. And it's not too late for you to start choosing your friends. Friendships make or mar us. It's like a huge deal to us. So if you know that you struggle with friendship, you need to start choosing your friends. It's not too late to start choosing your friends. It's fine when people say you're, you're picky or people tag you on friendly just because you're trying to decide if you want people like that in your life. It's okay because at the end of the day, it's your sanity that matters. You want to be at that mental space where you are not constantly fighting your emotions. Do you get what I mean? So you need to choose your friends. Don't be everybody's friends. No. No, no. I don't think people do that anymore. You know, pick people that you know that, yes, these are the people that I need in my life. Pick them. Be close to those people. I'm not saying don't make friends. Make friends. Okay? I can have lots of friends but i have people like my circle is so small because i have people who i know that yes these are the people that are so important to me and that doesn't mean that the people that are outside my circle i don't care about them i do but there are people in my life that i've kept at, at a distance they are still my friends they're not my enemies no but it's just applying wisdom you know and being able to do that and know that you know there's no grudge nothing like that you know i see you hey you good it's all it's all that so it doesn't mean that because i'm not too close to you you're my enemy no no you see my friend you know i wish you all the best and all that good stuff okay but i know that there are people who are so close to me people i spend my time with people i care about people that care about me so I am so choosy in that aspect. One thing about me, especially where I am right now, I'm in my late 20s, and I am not, I am not going to be struggling with friendship at this age. No, 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 no. I think I've done all of that early. Even in my teen age, I did a lot of, like me with friendship, I was just, it was crazy. Okay, you know when, when the Bible talks about you should love your neighbor in the way where you should be able to lay your life down for them. That was my, that was the way I held or I regarded friendship. It was just like that for me. But obviously growing up, you learn, you know, you become wiser, you know, you decide to choose like, okay, this is what is important to me. This is what gives me peace. And you are not constantly battling emotions just in the name of friendship no it's not even good people need to protect their mental health especially now so if you feel like a type of friendship is disrupting your um your life or the way you think the way you interact with people like you're not even able to be yourself but you don't want to be that girl you want to be free with everybody but that doesn't mean that i'm close to you but that still doesn't make you my enemy it's just like I'm being picky because I want to protect my mental health. I don't want something. You can't be battling emotion in the, in the name of friendships. No. There are other things that in your life that you need to focus on. So friendship is just the list. 
that's being wise that's not you being picky so be choosy with your friends like you're not trying to please everybody no so that will lead me to the next point which is stay away from drama mm -hmm. that's what i've learned one of the things i've learned stay away from drama anything that would disrupt my peace i stay away i stay away I, I don't i don't i don't like stress anything that would just stress me when it comes to friendship when it comes to ah i stay away my dear i i just stay away I would be so oblivious to it, to things like that. Anything stress? No. Stay away from trauma. You know, there are times where we have people in our lives um, that constantly put us in situation where you are becoming enemies with people or they make you be in situation where you're constantly fighting. You know or like there's always misunderstanding like even times where you avoid those misunderstandings you just find yourself they they just literally put you in that situation why do you want to be friends with people like that where it's like i consider you my close friend but you are trying to tell me that or oh, these are the people i need you to be friends with these people are my enemies they are also your enemies why would i inherit people's enemies they call them frenemies. I see people actually doing that. There was a controversy, like I think on Instagram, there was a time where it was going on this very controversial topic where people were saying that where if I'm friends with you, uh, you should be friends with who I'm friends with just because we're friends. And you should be enemies with people who I don't vibe with just because we're close. Hello? Like, why? Why? So you don't want to be, be friends with people like that. That's not wisdom. That's people who are acting based on their feelings. No, I don't have friends per se in my life. I have like sisters in my life because they are people that they are very understanding. A lot of them are way older than me. People that I'm so close to, you know, it's not, they don't do all this, um, all those petty, petty misunderstanding. No, 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 no. Because I chose the people that I want in my life. So stay away from drama. Stay away from people that constantly want to put you in a situation where you are not able to make your own decision. Why do I want to be friends with people like that? Stay away from drama. Stay away from relationships, friendships that will not make you be in control. Just because you are part of a group and one person out of that group is not in good terms with another person. And we are all friends. So just because one person that I'm close to is not vibing with that person, why should I make that person my enemy just because I'm close to you? No. Any friend that will make me, that will put me in that position or make me be in that situation, they are not my friends in the first place. No. No. Mm -mm. So stay away from drama. Stay away from friendship that will constantly put you in that situation where you're fighting your emotions you're not able to make a decision on your own just because you want to please one person and at the end of the day you can't even please everyone i obviously apply wisdom you know it's very important to apply wisdom when you're dealing with people okay um, but at the same time make sure that you think about yourself is it affecting your peace is it affecting your mental health then stay away it's it's not what it's not worth it why why it's not worth it don't don't spend your time cracking your head for something that is not worthy no no so stay away from drama and stay away from people that bring drama to your life okay if you see people if even they've been your friends for forever and you constantly realize that mm, this is happening very frequently i've had people in my life where it's it's just constant drama and i'm just like okay you know what i'll just forgive and let go forgive and let go but after a while i'm like nah these people they need to be here i need to be here so just keep them at a distance doesn't mean that i'm cutting them off because a lot of people just take things personal on a normal day i should cut people like that off but it's just like i'll keep you here i'm here and i'm good i'm good because when i'm not too close there's no there's no bond there's no connection so whatever you do is not really affecting me like that because I've kept my distance. Does that make sense? 
So yeah, stay away from drama and stay away from people that bring drama to your life. That brings me to number five, which is spend time with people that inspire you. Spend time with people that inspire you, people that support you. These are the people you want to spend your time with, you know, in terms of like communication, you know, having conversation with them, um, asking them questions. So it's very important, okay? Um, you know, I feel like people in their 20s now, they get... I don't even want to go into details, but the way I'm just seeing it, especially this generation, right? It's like we we spend the most time on things that don't value us like that, like that. You know, and I know, I mean, it's like it's my life, I want to live my life. But then again, you just have to think about, you know, the future. Think about things that are valuable. Think about things that are worthy. You know, these are the things you want to spend time on or time with, okay? Um, if you know you have people around you that they're taking you away, like, you're not, you don't have friends in your life who are telling you, like, books to read, who are sharing testimonies with you, who are sharing their goals with you, who are, you know, um, giving you ideas. If you don't have people like that, you need to start you need to start thinking like what am i even doing you need to spend time with people that inspire you people that care about you people that support you because it would help you grow personally as well like it it, it, it boosts your self-development when you have people around you who are you know constantly like um telling you like oh you know you can do this supporting you inspiring you checking on you people that are so proud of your growth people that see um that understand your weaknesses and they they support you even in your down moment these are the people you want to spend time with don't 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 waste your time don't if you're spending time with people that and you know that at the end of the conversation or at the end of the meeting with those people you've not benefited anything why am i i'm not saying don't spend the, the people you have in your life where you're just like oh you go out you have fun and all of that i'm not saying don't have people like that in your life yeah it's good all work no play i do understand that but as we grow older you just want to you want to boost everything about you your confidence your self-worth self-development you want to boost everything so you, you you can spend time on things that gives you pleasure or like obviously like the partying and all, all those things but spend the most time on things that will value your life things that you will benefit from things that will make you grow things that will make you like you know what i want to be better inspirational things you know things that will motivate you to do better to grow better to be smarter to be more intelligent these are the things you want to be spending your time on so that is number five so number six is take the step okay take that step i know in our 20s sometimes we cannot hesitate especially people in their early 20s like it's like oh do i really want to do this you know i'm too young to start planning this no take that step okay don't be afraid to take the step it could be anything it could be like a business or say you've been thinking about going to uni but you're not sure or you've been thinking about starting a business or you've been thinking about learning a new skill you know take that step okay it, 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 it's a problem if you didn't try than for you to not even try at all so if you tried and it didn't work out at least you know you tried or you would have more regrets knowing that you didn't even give it a try at all. So take the step in whatever it is you want to do. It could be your career, you know, um, don't procrastinate. Don't say, oh, maybe when I get to 25, uh, yeah, it makes more sense to start. No, no. And I kind of like the generation of now because they are quick. You know, they, they, they see, they identify something like a skill or talent or a gift and then they run with it they're like yeah i'm gonna give it a go so i i like that i like to see that but there are still some people who are still like struggling with it it's like i don't think it's gonna work i don't think it's gonna work so take the step take the step although we do have like um healthy 
procrastination you know where you are delaying certain things because of say um, there's a genuine reason why um, you have to delay um, the process okay that's absolutely fine but I'm just saying when it's just like um, something not 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 super relevant I think you should just start okay start that business apply for that job apply for that uh, contract apply um, you know to that uni university you know whatever it is that you want to learn you know that new skill research do your research and get to know about it you know it's very important because you don't want to then get to your 30s 40s and you're just like oh I wish I knew you know these are the time don't wait these are the moment something pops up even if you're not able to start immediately make sure you're writing them down write them down and remind yourself but don't just skip it in don't just let it be in there with you and you're not doing anything about it. it's okay if you're not able to start immediately but write it down and see if you can speak to someone about it someone you trust someone you know that yes they will tell you the truth or someone that is like-minded in terms of like maybe they're also say for career for instance they are also in that field and it's just very important make sure you take the step okay it's okay for it not to work but as long as you've tried you know you've tried and also another taking the step would also be letting go of something that does not serve you any longer letting go of that job letting go of that friendship letting go of that relationship letting go of that um career or emotional entanglement letting go of things that don't serve you anymore that's also taking a step we can take a step to move forward in something and sometimes we can take a step to move back you know to back off something and stay away and like you know what i'm gonna take the step to shut this down or i'm gonna take a step to start something in so it's two ways so you can also take a step to leave, to stay away from something that doesn't serve you or to let go of something that is affecting your life negatively. So it's very important. Take the step. If it's to move forward in something or to back off, to take a step back in something, take that step. Number seven is be independent, okay? In your 20s you want to learn to be independent and it's okay I feel like a lot of people kind of um, attach independence to you know when you're doing things yourself like when you're living alone or when you have your own car or when you have your own house and all of that there are a lot more ways you can be independent okay so you can still be living um, <clears throat> excuse me you can still be living at home with your family and still be independent and a way to do that is supporting them. Say you want to, you know, say tell our oh, mom and dad, it's fine, this month I'm going to take care of the groceries. So that's also a way of being independent. So it's not necessarily when you stay away from family, stay away from home, doing your own things yourself, you have a job of your own, maybe part of it. But you can still be with your family and still just, you know, giving that bit of support, even while you work and do other things as well. So that's also being independent. So be independent, you know, learn to uh, want to take responsibility, make a decision yourself. And like, you know what, it's fine, mama, I'll do this. It's fine, dad, I'll take care of this. That's also being independent. It's not about you just saying it, you have to take the step. People need to see that, oh yeah, she, he is taking the step. So it's very important to be independent in your 20s because it would help you, you know, being in a huge position where you have to say deal with money or you have to deal with more people. Do you understand? So if you learn to be independent in your 20s now, by the time you're getting to your late 20s, you're approaching your 30s, going into your 30s, you're able to like, it's like you've grown so much, you, you've known how to manage you know manage your time manage your money manage your life you know to be organized because you you've learned to take the step to do things your your own way like you're not waiting for people to tell you to do something you know this is the right step to take you know this is the right right decision to make and you're taking them 
that's being independent. It's not necessarily like you earning your money. That's not only what being independent is about. No. It's being able to take that step. Taking responsibility. You've made a mistake. I accept. Recognizing that you've made the mistake. Learning from those mistakes. That's being independent. So in your 20s, you need to learn that. Early 20s, late 20s, you need to learn to be independent. And we don't stop. It's, it's, it's a continuous process. Don't wait for people to tell you that this is the right thing to do. Sometimes we know, but we just act like we don't. <laughs> Especially those in the early 20s, yeah. You know, so just, yeah, just be independent and, yeah, let people see that about you. That you, you are constantly growing. You know, being ready to, to listen, to learn from people. You know, to learn from your mistakes. That's being independent. So be content. Whatever age you are at right now, especially people in their 20s, be content at the stage you're at, okay? Just because the people that are like, say, 22 are making it and you are 25, you feel like the world is against you. You feel like um, you're incomplete. You feel like you are in an entity. You feel not enough. Don't look at any other person's journey. Don't compare that with yours. You're, that's why we're different. That's why we're different. That's why we're not the same. Okay? So it's okay for people that you are older than to be smashing it. To be making it. It's okay. That doesn't make you less of a person just because you're older and they're younger and they're they're making it in life. No, it's fine. Just be content at whatever stage you're in. Be genuinely happy for your journey and how far you've come. It's okay if you don't get there like right away, right away. There's one of my quotes. Uh, by the way, I do have a quote page on Instagram, so please do me well by checking that out. It's called um, Bloom. Um, it used to be called Knee Speaks. Um, N double I then speaks. Uh, uh, recently, um, I felt led to rebrand um, the page, so it's now called Bloom. And on Instagram, it's underscore Let Your Life Bloom underscore. I'm gonna leave the details on the screen so please do check it out i just share a motivational and inspirational quotes and one of my quotes is it is okay to be slow as long as you're moving as long as you're steady that's what matters slow and steady you're steady that's what matters there are people who are not even moving at all they're just right there so imagine you're in the position where things are just being slow but you are moving you are moving that's what matters because at the end of the day, the people that have moved, moved faster will get there. They will get to their destination. But you know, the similarity is the fact that you both will get to your destination. They might be running to get to their destination. You might just be walking. But you know what we share in common. We both got to our destination. That's what matters. So it's okay to be slow as long as you're moving. So it's okay for the, your journey to, to be taking that time. You know that longer time it's all right be content be happy with where you are and before you know it you'll be where you want to be but if you're not able to even appreciate your stage if you're not able to appreciate how far you've come it will be hard for you to be grateful when you get to your destination so we need that skill that perseverance skill that um, endurance skill we need it because how do you want to convince people that it's possible when you don't go through that period of waiting and of enduring? So it's okay to be where you are right now. Don't feel less of yourself. Don't feel less of yourself. You are worthy. You are important. And one of my devotion um, two days ago, I think on Saturday or Friday, is about contentment. And it says... Contentment is not just a feeling, it's a decision. You have to decide to be content because it's not easy. It's not, imagine you see people that are younger than you, like, it's not easy. Like, you would feel the emotion like, oh my gosh, my life right now. <laughs> you will feel it because we're humans. 
what am I even doing with my life? You will feel it. But you have to make the decision to be content, the decision to be happy. You have to make the decision to be like, I am here right now, but I feel fulfilled. Because I know where I'm going. So be content at whatever stage you are right now in your life. You know what? You will get there. So number nine is knowing that failure is part of success. Oh yes. Oh yes. It is part of success. Okay, so it's okay if you've had moments where you failed. Accept it. You know, accept those times in your life and move on. Move on. Move on. I know it's not easy, but try. It's, it's to me, like I talked about, like I just mentioned about contentment being a decision. Failure as well is you deciding to want to move regardless of what you've gone through. So failure is part of success. You know, it is easy for for people to tell you that, oh, um, I was successful at this, I was successful at that. Um, but people are more interested in how. How did you do it? That's when you captivate people's heart. When you're able to tell them that, you know what? It does seem impossible at the first instance, but I was able to overcome. There's no success story that is inspiring or motivated as them ones that have, you know, the downside to it. There's always that time where it's like they failed many times before they got it right. So failure is part of success. Understanding in your 20s, knowing that failure is part of success. Some people in their 20s now, the moment they fail, that's, it's like that's the end for them. It's okay. How do you want to inspire people? Because you will get to the point where, when, when you are then successful, you get to a point where you're going to have a huge responsibility on your shoulder. So how do you want to cope? How do you want to deal with people? How do you want to manage people? If you don't go through some challenges, some tough times that will shape you, that will shape your mentality, would shape your, your mindset. And then you're able to be blessings to other people, letting them know that, yes, they will be shortcomings, but you know what? They would build you. That's why they need to be there, those shortcomings, those failures. That's why they need to come through so that you will become better and you'll be a blessing to other people as well. That's what success is about. When you get to that point, you, 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 you become even more grateful. And you're able to even multiply, you know, and even do better, become even more successful. Because then you're able to take the next step. Imagine if you, you failed and then you succeed. By the time you want to take another step, you're not scared of taking another step. Because you know that, you know what, I've been there before. If your success story is not inspiring or motivating people, is it even a success? Or letting people want to take the step or letting people want to do better or letting people want to try is it even success so you have to understand that it's part of life it has to be a part of it and some, sometimes you know when people fail it's like oh the world is against them like i'm too young to be failing you know I, i'm too young my heart is too fragile to start dealing with challenges I'm just too young. I don't need to be dealing with all this right now. No, because imagine if you're succeeding at that young age, you're not going to say, well, I'm, I'm not too young to be. No. So that is part of life. It is part of life. So even as young as you are, if you try a lot of things in your early 20s and they're not working and you're getting to your mid-20s mid and you start seeing change, your late 20s, you start seeing, you know, experiencing success. Imagine how fulfilled you will be. So don't say you're too young to experience failure. No. No. Because people need to see that you are able to, to overcome. People need to learn from you, even at that young age. Oh, you've tried that and it didn't work. Wow. And you're 21. And you're 22. By the time you, you, you're getting to like you're 24, 25, you, there are things you share with people and people will want to listen to you. 
a lot of the time people want to listen to people who they failed because they've been there they want people that are relatable i don't want to listen to people that are constantly telling that yes i made it i made it i made it well like give me the tea relatable story that's what people are interested in it builds your mind it renews your mind it makes you become wiser and then you become a blessing so that is number nine so number ten which is the final one um, one of the things that I've learned is plan for your future you know have a planner write or oh, I love to write law I love to write so write things down even if it's something that just pops in your head so have a planner plan for your future some of us we are in the future now so plan for your now okay plan for your present and still plan for the future so write things down write down your goals things you want to achieve a lot of my quotes sometimes they come up to me like 1 a.m when i'm say i'm awake some of them they come up to me and then i have this moment where i'm just reflecting reminiscing and all of that and then immediately i just you know quickly scribble them down so ideas will come to you you know all times and our body naturally would want to just escape them so make sure you write them down you know ideas you know things you want to achieve things you want to improve on skills new skills you want to learn you know yeah write them down plan for your future the moment you are i think from 8 to 18 is an adult anyway so from the time from that time start planning start planning so these are all the things that well not all the things just 10 out of many you know that i have learned in my 20s i hope you guys enjoyed it it did take a while yeah one thing about me mm, i can talk okay and the moment i get into it is like oh i don't want to stop and then i remember girl you're recording <laughs> anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know what you think about it down below and yeah i'll see you all in my next one until then stay beautiful bold brave and yeah make sure you make wise decisions okay bye for now